Hey, what's up, guys? This is SoSly at the iPhonespot.net. Here is going to be a short tutorial on how to uh, SSH into your iPhone so you can copy dev files, um, set the permissions, and everything you know that that you see you when you need to use SSH. So, what you first need to do is uh, install SSH from Cydia. So, let me go ahead and open that up really quick. All right. So, what you would need to do now is install SSH from Cydia which will be in the uh, featured packages which is the, one of the main things everyone uses right now so um, I guess uh, Sarik put it in the featured packages as it's it's a real handy to come it comes in really handy for those of you who like to use it so you're just gonna see SSH you scroll down it's gonna be under console utilities and daemons just go to open SSH on the top right it's going to say install. I already have it installed so what you do is just click tap on install and, and just install it. Let it install and then after it's done installing just go home and uh, reboot or respring your iPhone. After you've installed SSH onto your iPhone um, what you should do is just um, reboot or respring. After you've installed SSH and reboot it will resprung your iPhone to the springboard. You're going to connect it to your Wi-Fi connect it to your Wi-Fi and then you're gonna get this after you finish connecting it tap on the arrow on the right side of the antenna bars or the signal strength indicator you will see the IP address of your iPhone and the address that the Wi-Fi router gave to your iPhone the IP address is gonna be mine is gonna be 10.0.1.200 so you're gonna to have to use that to um, you, you're going to have to use that IP to connect to your iPhone when you're using your computer. Let's move on to the computer part of the SSA tutorial. Um, what you're going to do is need to download FileZilla. Um, there are a lot of SSH programs out there. I recommend FileZilla because it is uh, compatible with any platform, Mac OS X, uh, Linux, or Windows. After you finish downloading and installing FileZilla, you're going to open it up. On the top left corner, you're going to see um, the site manager, the little server. You're going to click on that, and you're going to see host. Under your host, I already showed you how to get your, uh, your host is going to be your uh, iPhone's IP address, which I showed you how to get that earlier. You're, you're going to type in your IP address. Mine was 10.0.1.200. Um, the server type is going to be SFTP SSH file protocol. Your logon type will be normal. Your user will be root. Your password will be Alpine. A L P I N E. Um, if you've done everything correct, you can just tap on connect. And over here on the top left corner, you will see that it's connecting. Um, after it finishes, you will see a directory listing successful over here. And you will see your iPhones insides pretty much over here on the right side um, um, this is your iPhone all on the inside right here um, as, as you know people require to SSH stuff into the, your iPhone or copy stuff from the iPhone to the computer so let's say you want to copy a, a single picture and not have to sync your iPhone to iTunes so you go to VAR mobile media DCIM and you will have folders here. I have a screenshot, so you just, I'm going to go into that folder. And then over here, I see the image, which is a screenshot. Here on the left side, I didn't explain, is the desktop. This is your computer's desktop, so you can just drag and drop stuff from your desktop to the iPhone or from the iPhone to the computer. So let's say I want to copy this photo to my desktop. So let's just copy that. And it should just say connecting here on the bottom and copy over. When it's finished, you will see that the image copied over here, look. And there it is. There's a screenshot. It's as easy as that, guys. SSH stuff from your iPhone to the computer. Um, I write when, you, when, I, when you download anything, such as a theme or anything, that requires you to SSH into the iPhone, I recommend downloading the file to your desktop. And from your desktop, you can just copy it straight to your um, iPhone. So let's say I downloaded a theme and I download it to my desktop. Here, Here's my desktop right here. Um, let's say the theme folder needs to go to library 
themes. So you got a library of themes on your iPhone and just drag and drop the downloaded theme file to the iPhone. It's as simple as that. Now some programs require you to set permissions you know like after you copy a certain file to your iPhone you have to set permissions. Well, how You set permissions this way. Let's say you want to set permissions for uh, an application or something. So let's go to let's say um, iFile. So you copy a file over to the iPhone and it says set permissions for that file. You set permissions by going to the file you copied over. You right click, you go all the way down, file permissions, and here it is. You can choose to read, write, or do anything like that. Most uh, permissions people recommend using 775, uh, but if you're not sure, you can also just tap on all of them, check everything, so your numeric value will be 777, which uh, pretty much fixes any permissions error all you have on your iPhone, such as your app not opening or just not running right. And well, that basically concludes this iPhone tutorial, I mean this iPhone SSH tutorial.